Students at Joliet West have access to ebooks and audiobooks through eRead Illinois, provided through the Joliet West Library. You can access eRead Illinois through the library website, which is located under Student Resources on JT Connect. Once at the library website, you can find the link to eRead Illinois by clicking the eBooks Audiobooks button or by looking under the Library Resources section and clicking eRead Illinois. This will take you to the Access 360 website. The first thing you want to do is log in. In the upper right corner, you will see the Login button. It will prompt you to enter your library card number, which you can find on your school ID underneath the long barcode. This will be a 14-digit number. I like to click Remember Me when I am using my own laptop. Then you can click the Login button. The homepage shows you the top titles in the featured categories. On the homepage, you can filter by Available Now or All, and you can choose if you want ebook, audiobook, or leave it alone to see all. You can click View All to see all the titles in that category. When you are in a category like Teens, you can click on Refine in the upper right corner to choose options like Format, Availability, and here you can also see titles that were recently released or recently added to the library. When you find a book you want, there are multiple things you can do. Click on the book, and if there is a checkout button, you can check out the book and begin reading. When you click on the Read Now button, it opens up the book in your browser and allows you to read it. Use the arrows on the left and right side of the page to turn the page. While the book is checked out to you, it will keep your spot in the book even between devices. You can change the font size layout, and color. If you choose an audiobook, you can listen in browser as well. Click on Listen Now, and the audio will show up in your browser. The options here are to change the speed, you can make it slower, or faster, or a lot faster. You can also bookmark any part of the story that you want to go back to, but know that it will automatically stay at the same place where you left off, just like if you were reading an ebook. You can also set a sleep timer that will automatically pause the story in 15 minutes. 30 minutes, 1 hour, or at the end of the book. If you want to check out a book, but the book is unavailable, you may place a hold on the book, and it will be delivered to you when it becomes available. You will receive an email to your school email when it is ready. You can also add books to your wish list if you're not ready for a book, but eventually would like to read it. You can also search for a title using the search bar at the top of the page if you know the specific book you are looking for. The final place to search for a title is by choosing the menu button in the upper left corner and browsing by subject. You can see all the different types of subjects here, 
including young adult all the way at the bottom. Featured lists are the lists that appear on your home page. From this menu, you can see your checkouts, holds, wish list, and history. You can put five books on hold and check out five books at a time. When you click on checkouts, you can see all the books you have checked out and when they are due. You can also return books early if you finish before they are due. Books will automatically return on the due date so there are never any fines. The hold button shows books you have on hold. You can see what position you are in, which tells you how many people have the book on hold before you. You can remove your hold if you no longer want the book, or you can suspend the hold if you still want the book but need to wait for a little while to check it out. This keeps your place in line but gives it to the next person, and it will offer it to you again when you unsuspend your hold. The wish list shows all the books you want to read, and your history shows what you have checked out. In order to show your history, you have to click on the little person icon next to your name in the upper right hand corner. Click on View Settings and make sure Display Checkout History is checked. You can also click on the High Contrast button if you prefer white writing on black background. Click Update Settings to save. If you have any additional questions about eReadIllinois, please contact the librarians from the library website.